Arctic DTD, okay? Document type definition, okay? So uh, it's a standard format, right? Now let's say DTD stands for document type definition. Okay. Now in this DTD I will specify how my XML file must be. It is like okay, it must have okay from okay, it must have to okay, it must have body okay. It must, so if I'm writing an email, right? So the email content should be like this. So I'll specify the standard way of writing the XML file. See if you see, right? If I don't specify the XML standard way of writing DDD, okay? Even people can write in a different different format, right? Kumar is asking, is there any tool to write XML? Kumar, there are a lot of tools available in the market to write, generate the XML file. Lots are there. You can just check the net. Okay. Ha. Huh. So, DTD stands for document type definition. DTD specify the format of the XML document. That's what I said, right? Like, you know, I have 100 people okay uh, to give the data for their departments if i don't specify the xml file has to be in this format and in this tag should be used these are the tags should be used 100 xml files will come in a different different tags right so unless until i communicate by passing the dtd to them saying that like you know use these tags only okay this is how the structure has to be then otherwise then only one format of XML will come. Otherwise, it will be different, different format. I can write my own tags, right? Somebody will write like if it is department. So, uh, so I can write a different way, right? For department, okay? So I can say department, okay? Then employee ID, okay? So uh, name, okay? Slash department. This is somebody writing like this. So uh, now somebody will say employee name, right? So 100 people will give in 100 different formats. Okay, uh, I have just muted and unmuted it. Okay, so don't think that uh, you are getting audio is getting lost. No, audio is not getting lost, right? So when I ask a question, when I want you to look at the slide, so I purposely mute it so that you will not get disturbed by other audio, right? You are not losing any uh, voice. <coughs> okay, uh, Kumar is asking, I uh, like you know, can I auto generate XML code? Yes, Kumar, that's what I said, like, you know, when you give the data, right, it will generate XML automatically. There are many tools available in the market. That's what I also said, right? You just provide the data, it will generate the XML and give you. So, the DTD is to, okay, the DTD is to specify the standard way of representing uh, the uh, XML, right? So you, I will say department, ID, name. This is the DTD I will specify and pass it on to everyone and everybody must comply to this DTD. Okay. DTD can be inside an XML file or outside an XML file. I will show you, right, what is, how to write DTD and like, you know, uh, how it can be inside an XML, outside XML. If you look at here, right, okay, see here, this is DTD document type definition okay see here this is DTD which is outside the right now it is outside the file test dot DTD okay now element test okay this is a root tag under the root tag you have three tags name from profession okay so the element name is PC data PC data stands for possible character data 
Okay. What do you mean by parsable character data is, that is this data can be parsed by other languages or tools, right? In a short while, we, I will parse the XML data from Java. So only if it is PC data, then I will be able to parse. Otherwise, I will not be able to parse. There is something called C data. Okay, P is removed, that is parsable is removed. So character data, you cannot parse that. Right? So you have an option of specifying which data to parse and which data to which data not to parse. Okay. So you are specifying test name from and profession as part of the DTD and you can give it to all the hundred departments saying that this is a DTD you must follow. Okay. Now this is test.dtd. Now if you are writing an XML file, you have to specify which DTD you are using. Okay, this is a URL prolog, you are specifying the version and UTF-8, doc type, that is test, okay, this is a test you are writing, system you have to write to use the DTD and you have to specify which DTD you are using, okay. Now you have to follow, this test is a root element, okay, name, John from California, profession, trainer, right. So you you are specifying a format of XML file in DTD. Okay. Okay, there's an explanation for that. Doc type says the root element of the XML files. This is the one, root element. Okay. Element test says it has three elements which are name from unprofession. See here, test has three elements, name from unprofession. Elements, all the elements are PC data, that means all elements are possible character data, okay, at times, so that means you can parse all these things, like you know, name you can parse, from you can parse, and profession you can parse. I just muted it so that like you know, you can see the slide, okay, at times you need to parse certain elements that contain that that you can use C data that is non parsable okay data at times you need not parse certain elements then you can use C data using XML parser using validate method okay we can validate XML whether it is confirmed it is formed according to DTD or not right now uh, let's say I have given a DTD to 100 departments so they have written in, uh, they have written the XML files following the DTD. They have used like this, like all the XML files, like they have used doc type test, system test dot DTD. It's same as HTML Kumar. Okay, now, uh, so how can I validate whether uh, the XML file, given XML file is according to the DTD format? How will I validate, right? How will I verify? So in uh, the any programming language which I parse it, I have a method called validate, okay? What it will do, it will validate the HTML, sorry, XML tags based on the DTD. It will look at the DTD and look at like you know uh, the XML and it sees whether it is following the, the standards which are defined in uh, DTD or not. Okay, so that is what it does like. Okay, so DTD is basically you specify the format of the document. Okay, so that everybody follows it. So uh, you can say validate for this XML. So uh, if it is valid then it returns true otherwise it returns false. Why DTD? Okay, even the XML file can be written, okay, in different formats by different people, right? To avoid this issue and to standardize the XML data in one DTD format, D one, one format DTD is used. Yes, Suresh says it's like an interface specification. Yes, Suresh, you're just specifying a standard. Absolutely, interface also what you do is you specify the methods as a standard specification, right? DTD is like you specify the standards.
The features of DTD, providing standard way of representing data, okay, XML data can be validated with DTD. DTD can be given in the XML file or it can be given in a separate file having the extension of .DTD and you can use it in the XML file. As I said before, you can combine DTD and XML file in a single XML file or you can write DTD in a .DTD extension file and use that in the XML file. Both is possible. Okay. During the validation of XML, parsers read the DTD file and validates against XML file. Finally, validator will give the result as valid XML or invalid XML. Okay, I have said this before itself. That is, it will take the XML file, it will take the DTD file, it will the DTD file will have a format of the XML, right? So the validator, you have a valid function is there in Java to validate whether uh, the XML is complying with the DTD or not. So it will verify and give whether like you know it is true or false. Okay, so if it is true, then you can proceed further. If it is false, you can display a message. Okay, XML file is not following DTD format. Okay, I just muted so that you can see the slide. Okay, so uh, before we move on with uh, the XPath, XQuery and uh, XML parsers, okay, can we take a break for 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah, okay. So I hope you understood XML, right? XML and DTD, how to write XML, what is DTD, yeah? Yeah, fine. Siddhartha says, can you go to uh, XML DTD uh, 